All right, I wanted to take a look at example 3.05 from the book. It's on uh, page 54. And the, because they make it a little bit trickier than it seems, but it's a this is a valuable tool for the dot product. Is it allows you to find the angle between two vectors. So what's the angle between vector A and vector B? And they give us vector A and B. Well, if you remember our definition, A dotted into B is equal to the magnitude of B times the magnitude of A times the cosine of the angle between them. So we can extract that. We're going to have to take the dot product. We're also going to have to find the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. So let's go ahead and start with the dot product. Um, this, the, this is where the book kind of makes it confusing, but do what I teach you and it's not bad. A dotted into B. If we only look at like components that matter, right? I times I is one, I times K is zero, J times I is zero, J times K is zero. We only have this, these two things to consider. A three um, times a negative two. Our answer is literally negative six, that's it. Um, your book makes that a three liner. Um, and remember, it's just a number. There is no vector associated with it. It's a scalar. <clears throat> okay, so we need to take that and put that in for this part of our definition. But we also need to find the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. Magnitude of A, we could find Pythagorean theorem saying it's a square root of 3 squared minus plus 4 squared. And that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, so the magnitude is equal to 5. Um, the magnitude of vector b would be the square root of negative 2 squared plus 3 squared, and that comes out to a decimal. Uh, let's call it 3.61. Alright, we have this, we have this, we have this. We can extract this. So let's say negative 6 is equal to, that's this thing, 5 times 3.61. And that's times the cosine of theta. So what do we get? We get cosine theta is equal to negative 6 divided by 5, also divided by 3.61. And then we can take the inverse cosine of that. And comes out to, uh, I think, approximately 110 degrees. So that is the angle between those two vectors. Um, to do so, though, look, we had to do it. To take the dot product itself, find the magnitudes, and then we could extract the angle. Um, okay, let's do another one. Let's say what uh, what is this? Uh, example 3.06. It wants the cross product. And it just gives us a 2 by 2. Most of the time uh, we're literally working in two dimensions most of this class. And things like torque might give us a rotation in the third dimension, but we typically won't be crossing three dimensions into three dimensions. You know how to do it, though. You will do it in your future. Um, okay, so let's say we have some vector A, and it's equal to 3i minus 4j, and some vector B. Oh, some vector b equal to negative 2i plus 3k. All right, if I wanted to find the vector c, which is equal to a cross b, we're taking the determinant of a 2 by 2 this time. Um, we end up just getting, if you want to distribute the whole thing out, um, we can use um, 3i minus 
4j, and that would be crossed into negative 2i plus 3k. Then we can actually take the cross products. Um, this would give us a 3i crossed into a negative 2i and a 3i crossed into a 3k. So 3i into 2i plus 3i into 3k. And that's our first term. We will also get a 4 into negative 2 and a 4 into 3. So I get a negative 4j crossed into a negative 2i. And we'll also add, let's just put it down here, the negative 4j into 3k. Now you can use the whole i, j, k thing I just taught you, where i into j gives you k, j into k gives you i, k into i gives you j, and you get the negatives if you go in the opposite direction. direction. So k into j gives you minus i. Um, following through that, we would get a vector c equal to a negative 12i minus 9j minus 8k. So I see one thing that would cancel itself right there, an i crossed into an i. This one, i crossed into k, would give us a negative j. The j crossed into i would give us a negative k. So just this, this rule is money right here. Um, and j crossed into k gives us an i. So putting that all back together, we get this right here. Um, make sure you can do that. Uh, you, you must be able to take a cross product of a 2 by 2 it should be a I don't know, not something that causes you much difficulty. Um, 3 by 3 gets tedious, but a 2 by 2 you should be able to do pretty quickly. Um, Alright, thank you.